This week on Machinery Pete TV, Miedema auction sale at the Steenblick Dairy features a 2022 John Deere 8R340 that was the workhorse of the operation. This Silver King 450 was one of the last to be built. And Pete shares some eye-catching items from sales around the country. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. We're in Michigan this week in Piwamo, Michigan, a little farming town. And I tell you, amazing story here. This is the online retirement auction for Steenblick Dairy. And Albert Steenblick came over to the U.S. from the Netherlands almost 30 years ago. And he built an amazing dairy operation. We're going to learn about it. But first, we've got to go back to the studio and get the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Warmer weather and drier conditions really help farmers make some planting progress. USDA reports right now 6% of the nation's corn crop is planted. That's 1% ahead of the five-year average. And some states really starting to pick up planting pace with Missouri now 26% planted, way ahead of the five-year average. And we got our first look at the soybean crop. 3% of that crop is now in the ground. That's 2% ahead of average. Arkansas, way ahead with 26% planted. Cotton planting, it sits at 8%, right on schedule with the five-year average. New numbers show U.S. Ag's continuing to make progress when it comes to cutting emissions. The EPA just released its annual estimate of all man-made greenhouse gas sources in the U.S., and it shows the U.S. Ag represents just under 10% of the total of U.S. emissions. And while total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions increased from 2021 to 2022, by about 1.3%, ag emissions actually dropped nearly two percentage points. That's the largest decrease of any economic sector seen here in red. Now, the American Farm Bureau credits the success to the continued importance of voluntary market and incentive-based conservation practices. And it says 2022 marks the lowest U.S. ag greenhouse gas emissions since 2012. Truckers are on high alert after more than $12,000 worth of pork was stolen from a tractor trailer. Police say the trailer was parked overnight in Northeast Philadelphia. Now, it's reported they made off with 56 cases of pork. And according to Truckers News, food and beverage trucks are popular targets right now for cargo thieves, especially with these higher food prices. And a news study says wild pigs, they kill more people each year than sharks. From 2014 to 2023, the average yearly number of fatal shark attacks worldwide was just under six, while the average number of deadly wild pig attacks was nearly 20 per year. And about half of all deadly pig attacks occurred in India, followed by China as second most. There's been six deaths here in the U.S. in the past 100 years. That's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. We'll send it back to our host, Machine Repeat. Stay with us, folks. Coming up, a tractor I bet you haven't seen too often sold at auction. A 22 model John Deere 8RX 410. It's got 182 hours on it with remaining warranty. Mark your calendars, folks. Exciting sale event coming. Two-day Egg Pro Small Egg Turf and Construction Online Auction, Tuesday and Wednesday, April 23rd and 4th, with 500-plus lot selling from their Ohio, Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida locations. Sale by Merit Auctions. Tractors, skid steers, excavators, zero-turn mowers, riding lawn mowers, UTVs, and hundreds of attachments, plus more. Visit eggprocompanies.com for auction info or proxybid.com for online bidding. 
Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. You've got to try this. The power of foam is the only way to clean and degrease your equipment. Simply foam it on, give the foam a few minutes to work, and power wash it off. Cuts grease and your wash time significantly. The foam won't harm electrical sensors or controls. It neutralizes and washes away farm chemicals and is safe to use on most surfaces. Call 888-996-7801 or go online to check out their dealer locator at powerofoam.com to find the power of foam near you. At LST Group, we are committed to providing exceptional service across all modes of transportation. If you're shipping machinery across the state or across the country, trust LST Group to handle it with precision and care. Our expanded network ensures your shipments will reach their destinations swiftly and securely. Discover the LST Group difference and experience the epitome of excellence in transportation services. To request a quote, call 844-622-6209. Hey folks, I'm here with owner Albert Steenblick, Steenblick Dairy. We're standing next to a monster, Albert, a 22 model deer, 9R640. <clears throat> yeah. Is this just a little bit bigger than the tractors you were running back in the Netherlands? Just a little. Just a little. Uh huh. One of these tires probably <clears throat> wouldn't fit too good on those Landinis you were running. I think they might be taller than a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Now this thing only has 35 hours on it. Yeah. So that, was, just... that was, we had, a, the other deal we had 500 hours on it. Or so forth. And that didn't, we didn't get the hours on there till right around Christmas. So okay. that's when it came in. Once you hit the hour mark, you get yeah. the next new one. Okay. Yeah. And so you got this one uh, December of 22. And, yeah. And uh, so you were, and a big blade on the front of this thing selling separate. Uh, grouser. Yeah. Grouser. How big mm -hmm. is that blade? That's an 18 footer. 18 footer. Yeah. Okay. Six way. So again. Uh, so you can go left, right, up and down and tilt it left. And right. Yep. So. And uh, those those blades aren't cheap. What are they? Uh, no, I, I think the new blades are 65, whatever, give or take. I don't know which is more amazing, the, the cost of the blade going up or the tires here or the tractor itself. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, you want to put this tractor, put all new <laughs> tires on. You're talking, I mean, 55,000 or something? Well, now what if someone would have told you that 30 years 60, ago? 60,000, yeah. Again, hard to believe, isn't it? Albert, someday you'll pay that much for tires. Unbelievable. But, yeah. But this tractor getting the job done for what you've got to do. Yeah, I mean, area. like I said, we, 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 when we're chopping corn, we push with two, two tractors with the RX and, and this one. And then uh, that's, you just need that to get the job done, you right. know, to do it right. right. So. Now, I don't know if I've actually seen a 9R640 at auction. I'll have to check our machinerypeat.com site. but. Have you been getting uh, some some interest, some feelers? No, uh, not, not me. Per, I think Medema's got some okay. people talking to him. People are always it. calling Sid. Yeah, that's One, good. It's just good to talk to Sid. But yeah, then, uh, yeah, good. they do a great job. How, how's it been working with the Medema folks? Good. All right, Albert, you got to tell us about this uh, tractor here. We got a 22 model 8RX 410. Only 182 hours on. Yeah, it. only a few hours on it. It's. Uh, we got that in, I think, in September, summer, yeah. give or take. And we, I think all we did last fall is pack the pile with it, the corn mm. silage. Okay. And then we were supposed to plant the corn with this, our plant and tractor too. Mm. So we use it for that and, yeah, some finer and stuff. And what, uh, you have a 16-row planter here? Yeah, 16-row planter. Okay, yeah. 1770? High speed, yeah. Okay. And I understand now a very important factor on this tractor and your other tractors on the auction, remaining warranty. So I yeah. think mm -hmm. on this one you're out uh, another year. Yeah. Plus, yeah. September of 24. September 24. So that's, yeah. a, that's a big that's, thing. That's when, a big thing. Yeah. yeah. And I suppose the, the, with your scale here, the way you guys were going, keeping everything under warranty was, was a must. Yeah, I did it with the, the Bobcats too. I bought them for like two years and so many hours and put the warranty yeah. on it. So, and we do it, you know, the tractors do the same thing. It's, kind of, it's, it's just, I mean, if right. something goes haywire, then my, nowadays, you, the bills you're gonna get for that. Those add up uh, yeah, mighty real quick, fast. don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was kind of across the board with your, with your equipment yeah. line, staying under yeah. warranty. And, and that's, uh, uh, boy, from my angle, Albert, you know, looking at buying a late model used tractor, that remaining warranty is like top of the list for what mm -hmm. people look for, so. Yeah, I uh, think so. I mean, it, it, a little bit of security you buy with it. Right. Yeah. So and it's been it. awful tough to find a tractor like this. 
probably yeah I, on I, dealer I can lots. believe that I mean I mean I think it's anywhere if you want to buy something it's just hard to find stuff so right. here are a few more items that sold on today's sale Best way I've seen to fix faded paint, Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Ag Innovations, a company with a 20 year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machinery Pete's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Hey folks, I'm here with Kyle Berry and with John Deere. We're going to talk about updating planners. And uh, Kyle, first of all, what's your title again with Deere? Yeah, I'm the manager of Precision Upgrades Marketing. Okay, so you're right in the sweet spot here as uh, farmers looking for ROI. I uh, understand there's there's quite a bit of options for farmers looking to upgrade. Can you can you walk us through it? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're standing here with a brand new planner, but all of the options on this planner here are available on existing models. So we usually start out with the row units, electric row units of two different kinds. You have Exact Emerge or Max Emerge 5E, uh, and then we pair those with your downforce option. This particular planner's outfitted with IRHD or individual row hydraulic downforce. Yep. Um, so you have that option. You also have an active pneumatic option as well. Okay. Um, and then as you go through pairing your, your planter upgrade, we have two different fertilizer options okay. for customers. We have Exact Rate or Exact Shot. Um, and Exact Shot's our latest option for starter fertilizer. It provides a two-thirds savings in starter fertilizer cost to our customers. Two-thirds? Yeah, by wow. only dosing the, the fertilizer directly on the seed uh, as opposed to a constant stream of fertilizer. So uh, whether you want Exact Rate or Exact Shot, we have two different fertilizer options for, for planter applied fertilizer. And then we'll close things out with uh, the gauge wheel options that the customer chooses, as well as closing wheels, and lastly, row cleaner. So you can really build an entire um, row unit, specifically how you want it, mm -hmm. to fit on in your older John Deere toolbars back to 2005. Flexibility. Yes. Yeah, the ultimate flexibility, the ultimate configurability. Uh, planners are one of the most configurable products that we sell, and we bring that configurability through the upgrades market as well. The technology that we're bringing to the marketplace, not only on, on new planners, but also through precision upgrades. So everyone has the ability to get the latest and greatest offerings. Hey folks, welcome back to Tractor Tales. This week we're off to Rising Sun, Ohio to check out a classic Silver King tractor. And a special shout out to the members of the Silver King Club right near there in Plymouth, Ohio, where these tractors were made. This tractor right here belongs to my son-in-law, Chad Myers. He bought it in uh, Bowling Green, Ohio at the Bowling Green National Tractor Pole. Uh, it's a uh, model 450. 
It's a four-wheeler that has a Continental 162-inch cubic inch engine, and they're just fairly nice tractors. It's a West Virginia tractor. It was made after uh, the, the Silver Kings were made in Plymouth, Ohio, and then they sold it to uh, a company in West Virginia and uh, made a few over there before they went out of existence. Uh, the serial number on this one is 50,011, so it was one of the early ones made in Virginia because of the, the 11. This would have basically been built as a farm tractor. In the factory photos, these here Silver King emblems, we see them in all various places. Some are above this line, some are below the line, and half of them are straddling this line. I mean, it's very odd on how the, where the factory actually put the Silver King emblem. It was the later years of Silver King and just farm tractor use only. Up to the Bowling Green tractor poles, it gets very hot the third week of August and he has an umbrella on it. I like it because it's odd and, and rare because it, there wasn't very many built out of state. And it's a smooth running tractor and it's just in fairly good shape. This one's not geared real high. It'll go probably uh, 18 mile an hour. Stick around folks, coming up some shiny green paint. Our feature tractor on the auction today, a 22 model John Deere 8R340. It's got 880 hours on it. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain on stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Hey folks, here back with Albert Steenblink, the owner here, Steenblink Dairy. And uh, Albert, boy, another beautiful tractor here, a 22 model 8R340, I think 880 hours on it? Yep. This, uh, can you tell us how this was used on the farm? This was pretty much the all-around tractor for grinding straw. It take, takes about a day, about 10 hours every day, once a week. Okay. 11 hours, and then they uh, put it in front of the slinger, and they, yep. about a couple of days a week, they have to use the slinger, haul manure out, and put it all in the compost pile. And what was your, so, uh, uh, what manure spreaders did you have here? We had here night slingers. Nights, okay. Yeah. Awesome. The big one, the, not the really the the second size okay. from the top. Now Albert, when I when I drove on the farm here, uh, and my friend Sid meet him and told me how beautiful this equipment was, and he wasn't lying. But all green. I'm just curious. You came from the Netherlands 30 years ago. Were you a John Deere guy over there and brought it with no. you over here? No, we drove Landini. Oh, Landini it's over there. It's a little there. different, eh? Yeah, this is a little different. But I I became how do you say that? environmentally sound to make it all green <laughs> okay no it's just well you have a, a no I, I think we bought john deere first of all the dealer is the closest to us mm. and that was Bader. and, and, and yeah and Lich, john Hudson. lich john lich okay and okay. and the only time you need somebody out there is when this when when it breaks yep. you can run all the equipment every day day and night and you don't need anybody if it's, if it's working right but you, you show me a piece of equipment that never breaks down so and their service was their, kept well, you their service was good and, and they're the closest and oh. they have John Deere is the highest trade-in value it might be a little more upfront but once you're in, into that then yeah. you you kind of think you can reap the benefits from it well as you uh, sell a tractor like <clears throat> this at auction uh, mm -hmm. I imagine the interest you're getting uh, you probably get interest from neighbors I bet uh, and people you know in the industry yeah probably um, but your buyer could be, you know how it is these days, could be from anywhere, mm -hmm. these online bidders. Yeah, nowadays, yeah. That's what makes it kind of interesting, I think. It's also hard to find a lot of uh, one and two-year-old uh, high-horse tractors yeah. on the open market. So uh, 
Yeah, if you go to Hudson, they barely, I think all our equipment that we traded, is it's, it's all gone, so. Yeah, have you ever seen dealer lots so bare like the last couple yeah. of years up here? No, never, uh, I mean. I haven't either. All right, folks, I'm gonna share four of the most eye-catching items I saw sold at auction the second week of October, 2023, pretty fun list. Let's start off October 10th. We're going to a consignment auction in Winter, South Dakota, where Grand Auction Service sold this very sharp 1986 Massey Ferguson 860 combine. Only 1,800 hours on it. It was a one owner machine. Went for 16,500 bucks, and that's the highest auction price on a Massey 860 sold in the US without heads in almost 20 years. Now the next day, October 11th, on an evening online auction out of Michigan, very unusual tractor, this white 260 mudder that had actually been featured in the August, September 21 issue of Oliver Heritage magazine, sold for 5,050 bucks. Day after that, October 12th, uh, let's go back out west to Dickinson, North Dakota, where Yoder and Fry auctioneers had a very interesting retirement auction for Mike's Excavating that got his start in 1958. Mike's 97 years old now. Kind of retired a few years ago, but kept some equipment back. Sold it on October 12th. One of the items was this 2008 case WX210 Excavator. And this thing only had 30 hours on it. 15 years old with 30 hours. Went for 115,000 bucks. And folks, we started our tour with Massey Ferguson. We're gonna end it there with this tractor that sold October 7th on a collector auction in Calora, Maryland by Lehman Auctions. A Massey Ferguson 1100 tricycle narrow front gas, only 676 hours on it. Pretty much a barn find rare model. And it went for 15,000 bucks, all time record high auction price on a Massey 1100. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed our visit today to Puamo, Michigan. Tell you what, quite a dairy operation Albert Steinblick built over the last 30 years though, and his tractor line, wow. That was the first John Deere 9R 640 four wheel drive I've ever seen sold at auction. 22 model, 35 hours bareback, comes in at 549,233 bucks. Now, you better tune back into Machinery Repeat TV next week, folks. I can't guarantee we'll see another $500,000 tractor, but we're gonna have some fun. See you next week.